Good morning. Good morning. How are you this glorious, fantastic, amazing day? No, 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 you're, you're not. See, look up here. Good morning. See how beautiful that is? I think it's just the angle of, 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 the, of the monitor. And it is a little bit. We're missing a light. Didn't charge the battery. But it looks, but it looks okay. It looks okay on... on, on looks fine. Technical. Yeah, looks fine. Um, in any case, uh, we are back for a uh, another uh, episode of, of Real Talk with Devin Will. First of all, I'd like to thank um, the people who are on YouTube watching um, the videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Put the volume thing on the bottom. <laughs> I, it won't go to volume until you're on the video. Until it's loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's a great feature, I think. <laughs> but anyway, for those of you who have been watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. I've been watching uh, the analytics and seeing... Um, that people are watching, especially the new videos. You seem to like it when we get outside and do stuff out there. Um, so that's cool. And so we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. On the spot. Out there. Outside. Oh, off the kitchen table. So uh, you, 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 you seem to like that. So we are, well, we're not, at, you know, it's not an asthma to do more. So uh, it's, just, it's just remembering and planning a little bit. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers just turn it on and talk and, and, and do that. <clears throat> and, um, and we do sometimes. And we do, do, no, we don't, we never do. We, we, we've not done that one time. Not one, not one time, not even once. But, um, maybe we'll get better at that as, as things go along, especially in 2019. Uh, how is Christmas shaping up? It is the 17th. Uh, so Christmas is in what, like 12 days? It's very close. Literally the 12 days before Christmas. This next week will be Christmas Eve, so it's less than that, less than 12 days. Well, 17, 17 minus 25 is what? 25 minus 17 is what? 25 minus 17 is what? I'm not a math person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I work in a bank, a credit union, but... Um, like, like eight days or something, so yeah, we're... Less than 12, we, you said 12. I did say 12. So we are, um, I don't know, a few days away. Eight days away, something like that. Yes. It's next, let's see, next Saturday is the 24th. Uh, eight days, yeah. Or next Monday is the 24th because 7 and 7 is 14. Yes, yeah, so it's eight days away. So you ready? It doesn't matter if you're ready. You know, I, you know, you know I hate when people ask, are you ready for Christmas? Like, you can actually be ready. You you can't, because uh, you don't know and, what's coming. Or and it actually happen. matters if you're ready, if you're whatever ready is. Well, I hope to still be alive, so we'll see what, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's the plan. The plan is to still be alive, uh, so we'll see what happens. So I, 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 I don't know. Well, I I trust that um, it's working out for you however it's supposed to work out for you. That, that very, Are very you cool. prepared? For what? You know, for what you think you want to do for Christmas, it'll be wrong. That's it won't be. It, it, it won't be enough. Are you prepared? Yeah. Are you prepared for whatever? And and <clears throat> and we 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 have quite a bit of things to get done because do we? we're we're hosting dinner here. I got to be on this day. Family, that's uh, yes, you do. Family that's in town. I have eight um, days. <laughs> Hope I can get it done. <laughs> and 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 I'm gonna be preparing um, the meal, not the traditional holiday meal, because we did that on Thanksgiving. We're gonna have chitlins. So no worries. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat or cook chitlins anymore because hey, my, my mother is in heaven. Only and eat the only person's chitlins that I eat. Her and my grandma. That's the rule. They're both gone to gro glory. Yes. So I don't just, eat chitlins. Just eat your, don't, only eat your mom's chitlins. And I don't eat raccoon anymore either. Because <laughs> my father made That's the, the best raccoon. That's the story we'll tell later. Yes. It's more of a Thanksgiving story, isn't it? Was it Thanksgiving? It was, it was, it was Christmas. Christmas. Was it Christmas? He, did, he did raccoon on Christmas. Raccoon Christmas. In any case, uh, we hope that you're ready and um, or you're ready or you're are you are you're getting family around and and then you're excited about about the season um, as things move move along. We're going. We're excited for 2019. 
Lots to do. Um, Taking on a few things, new things to enrich our lives. We're working on some goals that we plan for, and um, we're looking for we're we're looking forward to a very good 2019. Yeah, we're going to grow. You know, we're looking forward to growing this channel and um, helping as many people as we can. Um, you know, what honing our skills. Um, so we can do so. So things. So, so 2019 looks promising. So I'm very excited about it. Um, there are uh, in the next couple of weeks we're going to talk about some things. We're going to start today um, with um, you know, like what five topics here that we can talk about over the next couple of weeks. You need me to enlarge it. Uh, yeah, it, it needs to be really big because it's so really far away. Hey, Rebecca DeBoer, how are you doing, hon? Um, yeah. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got like five welcome, topics. Welcome and celebrate each other's we're, differences. We're going to start start there. Yes. Let's start there. One of the topics we're going to talk about um, today. We may we may get another one in. Um, we started a little late, so we may get another one in. And we, we might not, but that's okay. Over the next few weeks, we'll we'll cover them all. Um, <clears throat> is that in a marriage relationship, especially that you should welcome and celebrate each other's differences. Now this always goes. This this will go back to what we talk about all the time. But most things go back to the basics. Um, the reason that you were attracted to someone um, in the first place is was wasn't because they were just like you. Because if they were just like you, you'd only be attracted to yourself, and all you'd need is a mirror. The man in the mirror. <laughs> Not I love me for me. That's all you would need. That's you need to love yourself, but so that would be all that you when, would need. Yes, but when it comes to if you want to be in a an, in a marriage relationship, any relationship, then you yeah any relationship <laughs> basically, you need to uh, love something else about the other person. It was the things that were different about you that attracted you. Now I'm I'm not all about opposites attract, so because that gets people into a lot of trouble too. So so if you're a a person that has that obviously has decent morals and you've been working on yourself and then you find some slub schlub somewhere uh that you should be attracted to them because they're a schlub because they're opposite when i say that at all and you're gonna work on them and you're gonna make them well, successful well that and that's the whole thing you know what you're gonna because you're gonna try to take them under your wing yeah and then crush their little heads which you should do <laughs> um but the idea is that and put it back together and put it back together with the like, way you want, yeah, and that, and and the thing is, when people try to do that. They try to, they try to. <laughs> no, no, not not real, not. Real. <laughs> but what they're trying to do is they're trying to recreate themselves in somebody else. It's taking me a while to figure that out. I think they're really just trying to create themselves in somebody else because they want them to do what they do. They want mm -hmm. them to think like they think. They want them to act like they act. They're trying to recreate themselves. And, you know, there's one of you. Praise the Lord, there's only one of you. Um, and, and, you're, and you didn't create you to start with, so you don't know how. Which is why that fails all the time. Somebody's trying to recreate themselves and somebody else. They're, you do it in your children. You do it in your spouse. You do it with your coworkers. You do it with people that you're Your in charge mentor. of. <laughs> you try to recreate yourself. And they're not going to be like In you. someone else. They can pick up a few of your traits, a few of the things that they like about you, and, and possibly implant, you know, implant plant them into their lives. But you can't recreate yourself totally. No, and that, no, you can't. And I don't think you, I don't think you should even try. Um, I think that you should show your best self most of the time. And if you can show your best self, then maybe they pick things up, but uh, and then and then recreate themselves, which they have, which people have the ability to do. But you're not going to change. You're not going to change them. So when you so when you meet somebody or you are are going to get in, in a relation with somebody, it's the differences that you should recognize, and the differences that you should welcome, because. And I know this sounds all hack nine and all, all hallmarkish, but that's the person that completes you. Those are the things that they do that you don't do well. 
Um, those are the things that they do that you don't know anything about. Um, and you can learn. And that you can learn or you, and you can frankly depend on um, as relationship grows. So it's one of those things where that's where the pieces fit. Um, so when the pieces or the puzzle pieces fit like that. So those things you should recognize and you should be happy about that that person loves yard work and you're living a house and you need yard work and you hate yard work. You don't know how. You don't like it. I, I like yard work. Uh, yard work sucks. But see, yeah. I <laughs> see how well that, I don't see how well that get works? to do it as much as I used to yeah. because um, well, yard work sucks. Yard work. It's awful. It's terrible. Wonderful. It's awful. Hey, Skippy. Yard needs raking. Want to go to college? <laughs> the rake's right out there. Yeah, your Skippy came down to ask about the yard, by the way. About, about raking the yard. Um, oh. He did. I told him what the deal was. Keep asking. <laughs> I want him to. Just keep... But the leaves are not... We, we... Here, with the trees that we have, if we rake in the early part, like right now, you'd be raking every week because they constantly fall and constantly. Which fall is something that I have fall. I have done really well in, in in trying to explain to my my dear wife. There's no reason to rake now. And it looks yucky. You have to wait until right before summer because the leaves aren't near done falling here. Now I know that y'all think leaves don't fall here. That everything stays green all the time. Actually, everything stays pretty green most of the time. But we have oak trees, and Florida has a lot of oak trees. And oak trees don't keep their leaves the whole the whole year. Uh, and we have two big oak trees in the front yard. And what they do, I think they do this, at, they, they, they pick some night. And they talk to each other. They go, hey, tonight? Yeah. And then they go, like a big dog. And there's like no leaves there. And then the next day, there's like, Three feet of leaves in the front yard. It's crazy. Like all you, you look, you, you go back outside, and all the trees are bare. Both the trees are bare. And they're like, ha, 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 ha. we're trying to bury the house. So, one of those again, one of those things you learn. One of those things you learn to work with. I, I knew that. Yeah, but you can't rake the rake the front yard every week. But you can. You can. For exercise, and I, guess. I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> and the leaves went, ha, 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 ha. Oh, you're such a nice lady. <laughs> oh, well, they'll, we're going we're gonna to replace those leaves the tomorrow. First, the first 10 years we were here. First 10 years. Mm. As a matter of fact, it's been 10 years. It's oh. almost 20 years. Next year. Next year will be 20 years in the house. 20 years. Time. <sighs> Goes, doesn't it? You know, so, so recognizing and celebrating those differences um, is is a hey chef what's going on chef I saw your um your your big yes. thing that you cooked what was what was that was, was that like a, a roast or I or I don't know what that was it was fantastically delicious looking <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get a knife and a couple pieces of bread and come at you. Uh, well, thanks. I mean, if you guys haven't, um, if you're watching, especially on, on, on Facebook, um, if you haven't had any um, catering, especially at your holiday catering by Chef Gaston, uh, it's probably too late because I'm sure he's booked up, but uh, maybe for next year. Check him out. Or for any occasion, yeah, or party. Whatever. Do that because he's super and wonderful and, and one of the nicest people I've ever met. All right. Um, so, so, so the differences are important. Don't so don't spend your whole marriage or your whole relationship trying to trying to rub out the differences. Try, try to get rid of the differences. No, because differences are the things that are important that might keep you together. Actually, hey, was it a ham? Oh, dude, oh, it ham. dude, it, it 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 looked so delicious. <laughs> it looked so yummy. I, I was watching it on Facebook, going, "That is so impressive." Uh, yeah, man, we appreciate that. Um, we appreciate Chef Gaston. Chef Gaston's a good guy. Does great work in the community all the time. As opposed, and you know what? And, and and in addition to being a great caterer, he's a really good citizen. He's a really good person in our community here, and we're proud to have Chef Gaston here um, in our Tampa Bay area. So, if you're looking for catering, check him out. Do it. 
just freaking do it because I said so. Let's okay, get one more. Let's do one more. Talk with each other, Ooh. not at each other. Ooh. That's an ouchy, isn't it? Because a lot of times when you're talking, you when you think you're talking to someone, you're actually talking at them. And, they, and, and some of you are like, "What difference? I don't understand. I don't understand the difference. I don't understand." Well, l let me give you a little tool. When you say this, let me give you an example. When you say, "You always," la 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 la, you're not asking. You're not engaging in conversation. You're not. You're 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 being accusatory, um, and that's not conversation. And what I have learned to try to do is to to start out with you know a question. If you're curious as to why your partner does certain things certain ways or whatever, and this will help you to be engaged and talk and have a conversation, and that you're not being the boss of the situation. Um, and and the, when you say talking at somebody, you, you're like, well, what, <laughs> you know, like he said, blah, 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 you know, and, you, and the person takes on a defensive attitude. So you're not going to get anywhere when, when you go that route because they're going to take on a defensive attitude and they start defending the way that they feel and what they want. They got their sword and, out. And going to fight back. So you're not going to get anywhere mm -hmm. in that situation. Mm -hmm. So I find that it's easier mm -hmm. if, you, if you sit down peace, peaceably and you just say, well, I was just wondering. Um... Why don't you do this it, this way uh, as to th to that way? And then, then they can explain and rationalize exactly why, what their thought process is. Because a lot of times I will do and say things, and I think I'm saying it in a way that even my son and my husband, I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I said it, and, and they should get it. But... <laughs> or I thought it... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but they don't always get it. <laughs> no, oh, we don't always receive it correctly. Um, right. and, and, and the idea is that you have to be, and, and this is something that I, that I think that over the time that we've been married, I have really, really tried. And now Debbie will have to tell you if I've been any good at it. I've really tried to be very, very careful what comes out of your mouth and the tone by which it comes out of your mouth. Uh, because I think that that's part of it too. Um, when you're talking to someone as opposed to at them has a lot to do with tone. Um, mm -hmm. And and tone really means a lot to me because... I think I, it means a lot to everybody. Yeah. Uh, well, I used to, well, in the beginning of our relationship, it, I would cry at the drop of a hat. So if you yelled or said something very aggressively, you know, I would, uh, I, I would, you know, be in tears. And he's wondering, well, what did I do? What? I, all I, I didn't do anything. But I was very sensitive in that area. And of course, after 31 years, I've grown up. She doesn't uh, care what I say anyway. I'm grown a shell to that. She doesn't care what I say if I say it soft or loud. She care. I, but but in my growing up in my in the household, I was the the water girl. I mean, I bring on the waterworks so quickly. I just was very emotional, very dramatic about things, and um, not me, huh? <laughs> but guys, you see, I'm saying. <laughs> Did you see that? But um, Did you see that? Anything and, and and I tend to blame my pick, father for that because I was daddy's little girl, and at the if I shed tears, he was gonna stop whatever was going on, making his little girl cry. I did, I, I did not have the same sort of upbringing, uh, so and I was an only child. I was really an only child, and I grew up in a house where well, you guys know. If, if if you go to the YouTube channel, you'll know. So I didn't have that sort of upbringing, so I didn't. Under, so I didn't really get it, um, and so I had to learn. 
over oh I had, to, I had to learn hey Mike what's up what's up go north um, so I had to learn over time that this is kind of how I'm gonna have to I have to be really careful and you know what and it wasn't just being really careful but not just because I didn't want to upset my wife it's just it, it, it was it was a it was a tool that I could use all the time when when dealing with any number of people in my you know what in my personal life or my relationship with Deb or my work life or whatever is just be really really careful about how things come out your face you know and he really had to work on that because he was a very aggressive like, say what he wants <laughs> Harsh kind of person. Like, in the beginning. like when we said before, like we went, like like when we said, you know, in, in, in our previous episodes, um, when I was in college, I I was the guy. If I told you I didn't care, I was I, I wasn't kidding. Some people will say that. Well, you don't mean that. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I mean that a lot. I don't care. I don't care. Indifference was like me. Like I, I had a wand of indifference. Uh, you're on fire. I don't care walk away I, I, I didn't I didn't uh now I, there are all sorts of I guess there's all sorts of reasons and I could like lay on a couch and spend and, you know and give somebody 100, 150 dollars an hour to figure out why but I know why but I didn't so it took a while to really watch the listen to what you say before it comes out of your face mm-hmm. um think before just you listen speak. to it and 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 then figure out how you're going to to say it um, and I know that some people think, well, that's Molly calling people and that's calling people, but the no is, you know, and, and it's not being politically correct because when I am not as politically correct, um, it's just, he's so, going to say it. I'm going to say, I'm going to find, <laughs> I will find a way. <laughs> I know a lot of words. Whether it's politically correct or not. I know a lot of words. But, I'm going to find a way to get it out and I'm going to find a way to get it out to where you're not, to where you're not going to be angry with me. You're only going to be angry with me because I'm right. Uh, you're not going to be angry at me, by the way, because I said it a certain way. You see what I'm saying? And that's the, and, 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 and because that's where people get off track. They get off track not because what you said isn't correct. is that you said it to me in a way that I'm not accepting the way that you came at me with it. And a lot of y'all, and especially I'm looking at my YouTube audience, a lot of y'all get in, a, get in arguments with your spouses or your girlfriends or boyfriends, not because what you said wasn't correct, is that you came at them in a certain way that was disrespectful that they didn't appreciate, and that's and now and now that's what you're arguing, <laughs> and now that's what you're arguing about. And guys go, I'm confused because I don't I don't even know what we're fighting about now. <laughs> a lot of times I've said, you Change know, direction. Yes, it's one of those things where you go, yes, I agree with what you said, and now, but you agreed in the wrong way. You agreed you because you approached her in a bad attitude, even though you said, yeah, okay, fine, you're right. In, in, anybody ever said that? Yes. Anybody I ever said that? that? When you okay, said fine, that. you're right, you're right, you're right. And I want to talk about it. No, oh, it's not, I'm right. I don't want to be right. I want to talk about it. I don't, I don't need to talk about it. You're right. You're absolutely correct. Because you know they don't really think that you're right. Well, actually, sometimes they do, but they don't want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They they do think you're right. They just don't want to talk about it. It's like I I'm just if it's gotten to this point, I'm done. Okay. If it's more important to you um, than it is to me, I'll just go with you. Okay. All done. Ever had that? He does that to me. Ever had that happen? Cut down the whole thing that I had planned to talk about. You had this this litany of stuff, this this Bible full of stuff to talk about. I'm like, mm, now nah, I don't do that. Uh, okay, you're right. Let's do it that way. Can we talk about something else? Now? Yeah. So there are. I mean, the, the, there is a dance. <laughs> I call it the dance. There is a dance, and sometimes you want to dance. And sometimes you don't want to dance. And that's one of the, uh, go back to the point we just talked about, that's one of the differences in people. Um, some people will engage that way, and they just, and, and some folks don't want to. I think that you have to understand that. Sometimes I engage in the conversation afterwards, even after I've said, okay. And sometimes I don't. 
And that leads us to the next one where it's give and accept forgiveness without fear. Don't be afraid because you forgive someone that, that the same thing will happen again. Well, if I forgive them, they'll just do it again. Well, if you mm -hmm. don't forgive them, then what's going to happen? They're going to do it again, and you're going to be even more And then angry. you'll be more bitter and more <laughs> angry. It's not, it's not going to work out either. So if you forgive them, get over it, put it away, don't bring it back out, then it makes... it makes Not much more, not nothing more frustrating than going into the, um, the closet and pulling one more thing out that happened 15 years ago. Happened five years ago, or sometimes five minutes ago. Nothing more frustrating. It's like, oh, there's nothing I can do about that. I already did that. I've already apologized. I already changed it. Nothing I can do about it. Why are you so? Why are you still hitting me over the head with that? It's nothing more frustrating. Than that. Because I'm a woman and I want to talk about it. I know a man. I don't want to talk about. It. So we've reached impasse. So what you have to do is forgive. That's the only way that you get that you can break the impasse. Somebody has to forget. Uh, somebody has to acquiesce. Uh, someone has to decide that this thing that we're talking about is not worth relationship. So this this impasse that we have, um, it's not worth relationship. Because I'm a guy, I don't talk about it anymore. I'm done. Okay, fine. If you haven't realized, ladies, men don't like to talk about situations. They just want it to be over. A and fiction. Is it done? Yes. Cool. They want to fix it and be done. They don't want to sit and go over it, over this scenario and that scenario and come up with a solution for that scenario and this, you know. And things that they, don't even, and those scenarios for the most part haven't even, ha haven't happened or may never happen. But they're in my mind. They, they happen in my head. <laughs> Which is my point. <laughs> Which is exactly my I point. I thought about it. <laughs> I know. That's exactly my point. Uh, my point is, yeah, you, but you just thought about it. It's not going to happen. It, it didn't happen. And at this point, because now we're going to go with whatever you want to do, it's not, it's not going to happen. Super duper. A good way, and, and I know men don't you normally journal, but good way for women is to journal. If you write something, if you have a, something and you want to talk about it and, and he talks for it, talk with you for two minutes and done, go to your journal and go, you know, pray, pray or whatever, you know, pray to your God or whatever and, and get it out that way. I've been journaling on a daily basis for the last year and I'm a such a more pleasant person. <laughs> Just write it. Just write it out. Say what you want to say and get it out. And and it goes back to men and women at their core. Um, men don't have many words. Men, I think men. I, I think the study was that men speak about ten thousand words a day, and women about twenty five hundred words, twenty five thousand words a day. Something something crazy. Two and a half times the amount. So sometimes you gotta write it down. Gotta get it out. You gotta get it out. Yes, I'm. I'm. I, think not, I can write a book. I think. I think you probably already have. Um, because <laughs> I'm not. Because because I'm. I'm not going to talk about it as long. I, I. I'm like okay. I don't know what else. To, I don't know what else. I don't know. I don't know. And it's very frustrating when you want to talk about it and then you've said your part of it and you want them to come back and give you not a solution. I don't, that's, that's all I got. But to talk. And. <laughs> Do you see the confused look on my face? <laughs> Guys, have you had that look on your face? At least on, at least on the inside? We gotta talk. I thought we talked. I thought we said, I thought we were gonna do this. For a minute or two minutes. I thought we were, I thought we already decided we were gonna do this. Didn't we say we were gonna do that? Yes. Okay. Let's do that then. But then. But what? <laughs> But what? But we need to. But what? To do what? Y'all been there. <laughs> Y'all been there. Yeah, and it, it 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 can be a tough place. It can be a tough place. But but know this. Everybody, no matter how long, um, has been there, and still go there occasionally. Mm -hmm. 
and it can be frustrating be for frust you women. It can be frustrating. And and a lot of times, I know when I was first married, I used to go to my mom all the time. I don't understand why he don't want to talk to me. I don't understand why he don't want to figure out situations and do things and all this stuff. And I think, and and then I thought about back when my doing living at home and my mom and my dad, they would it, he would just get so aggravated with my mom with my mom the same way but my father had a, a temper so he would just get so angry and he just leave the house you know and now I understand why you know because I used to get so I used to think why is he so mean why is he so upset what's the there? but it's because women have this way of wanting you know to to discuss things and wanting to just put it out on the table and and men they just want it done and out of here or they're just going to leave. You know, I can't deal with this. I'm not going to deal with this. And they go into another room or they'll leave the house or whatever. And I now I understand what they were going through during that time. And I was younger and smaller and I used to think, well, why, why, why do you got to be so mean? He was, he was just frustrated. He was frustrated. He was frustrated too. I, I We've already talked about it. We came up with We've come up. We've come up. Hey, Lavelle. We've come up with the solution, and now can we move on to the next thing? Can we stop talking about that? Can we stop doing that? Um, and that's you know what. And, and, and it's just. And, and if you think now, is every man that way? No. Is every woman that way? No. Of course not. Uh, we're we are speaking in generalities, of course, because generalities tend to be more true than not. Uh, and I think that anybody, uh, Chef Gaston, thanks for the, thanks for the compliment. But um, I, I, again, and if, and if you've been married in any length of time or been in a relationship any length of time, I think most people, most men and women, have come across this in some either some some minor way or some major way. And and just because you do, ju doesn't mean your marriage is over. It's over. Doesn't mean that this you relationship is going to work. Oh, you, no. <laughs> It's 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 really generally how men and women uh, relate and react um, to certain stimuluses and certain situations. Um, so when they tell you that, that that men and women are different, men are from Mars and no, women are from Venus. what is it? No, men men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Um, but the fact is that you're both from Earth. It's just a play on words. Yeah, I know. But. Uh... <laughs> It's because it's it's we get back to it all the time because our brains operate differently. Remember? And I think God has a sense of humor. He's like, okay, I'm going to make them behave this way and them behave that so we, way. So we're like God sitcom? Yeah. We have a sitcom for God. <laughs> we're in God sitcom. He turned it down. Oh, it's oh, it's awesome. Lawson's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crumbs on the stove again. <laughs> Where is the silverware? I don't know. It's gone. It seems to disappear. The leaves are in the yard. Leaves in the yard again. Yeah, it's that time. Anyway, yeah. So we're working on that. So in, in any case, I hope that we're able a, a, able to make some things more open and apparent to you. And apparent to you. If you've got questions, please. Get questions, please just write them in the comments, especially on YouTube. Write them in the comments below, or email us. Uh, because because we try to we get to the comments a ASAP, ASAP. There are no comments on any of our videos that we've done. We've been doing this since February of 2018 of this year. Um, thank you so much. Thanks. There are no comments that we don't get to. Zero. Uh, there are no comments that have been out there that they go. Oh, I had a comment out there from January. I'm gonna answer that. No, they're all answered. So if we can approach something or talk about something here on the program, um, we'll be th we'll be thrilled to. Um, and if you got something personal, more personal, yeah, yes, send us an email. You can send me an email at wls860 at gmail .com, or you can send Debbie an email at your email address is dlawson064 at gmail .com. I See, I remembered. All right, good husband. Um, you can send us an email. Uh, or a message here on Facebook. Um, that's easier too, either directly to me or directly to my wife. 
and um, we'll try to do as much as we can. We're not certified uh, marriage counselors or therapists. Um, all we can do is relate to you through our own experiences. You know, I'm, I'm working on getting certified. But... Yeah, I'm I'm already certifiable. <laughs> but you probably already figured that out. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I, all I can do, guys, is help you through my own personal experiences. That's all. And pray for, and you know what, and, 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 and I put you guys in our prayer boxes. That's, which is probably the best thing we can do for you, actually. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. Busy day. Yes, it is. Busy day. I have to go to work. And I'm going to go to work later. We'll talk about that at some point. We didn't vlog this weekend. We did not. We didn't, we didn't vlog at all this weekend. And YouTube doesn't like that when you don't put like 16 videos in a week. We're going to vlog more this week. We're going to try to figure that out. And if my family Thanks, is okay with it, I'm going to vlog some. Your family? I'm talking about my I cousins. know. I know. <laughs> I know. You don't think they're going to want to do that. Okay. They're like, <laughs> somebody may see me. <laughs> that is true. They don't even have Facebook accounts, so... <laughs> yeah, so, and suddenly they're going to be at the center of God's um, God's sitcom called The Lawsons. Yeah, probably <laughs> not. We'll and see. Yes, starring. Da, 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 da. Probably not. Uh, again, thank you, Lavelle. I appreciate it. I've known Lavelle since like third grade. Wow, that's a long time. A long time. <laughs> Lavelle knew me when I was skinny. He knew me when I was skinny <laughs> at eight years old. <laughs> No, but I have some friends on here I've known since kindergarten. Yeah. So, I... Lavelle was a new kid moving into the Ville. Yeah. Lavelle, you said over in Alamanda, didn't you say over on, on, on Alamanda? Down the street from, from, from Wendell and them. All right, we got to okay. get going. So, until we so, see you again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Do that. Um, face, um, YouTube did some cleaning up this past week, so we lost a, a subscriber. We but we lost a subscriber before him. Well before the well well before the purge. Please subscribe. The purge. Subscribe to our channel and check out some of our live vlogs. We do some vlogging occasionally. Yeah, so ch so check us out again. If if if, you, if you're watching on Facebook and you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, we would really appreciate you subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to continue for at least for the short term. Um, doing both, um, but at some point we want to make the probably halfway into the year we want to make, make a change. switch and do probably a little less on Facebook and a little bit more on YouTube. So we're it, we're, we're, we're talking about it. Um, so we again we really really appreciate what you're doing here and um, you guys watching us. In, in I did morning. it. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sake, y'all take care of yourselves. Yes. We will see you when we see you. Peace. Peace. We are Love out. you. Hit the button. And that